Hello, I'm Dr. Amy Bowman. I'm a veterinarian as well as the Chief Medical Officer for QSM Diagnostics. We have produced this short video to demonstrate to you how to use your mail-in at home dog ear pseudomonas test kit. We will show you the components of the kit as well as how to safely obtain an ear swab sample from your pet. Please, if at any point during this procedure your pet should experience any discomfort, show signs of pain, anxiousness, or is not cooperative, please stop and consult with your veterinarian on how to best obtain a sample with your test kit. Also, please watch this video in its entirety as well as follow any written instructions prior to obtaining a sample from your dog's ear. Now we will look at the components of the test, demonstrate an ear swab sample procedure, and as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us here at QSM Diagnostics. Here is a graphic representation of normal dog ear anatomy. The parts of this diagram that you're going to be paying special attention to are the portion called the vertical canal and the horizontal canal. Basically what we are going to do is ask you to hold your dog's ear pinna or ear flap and then place the swab vertically downward obtaining a sample from your dog's ear from the vertical canal. We do not want you to go beyond your pet's vertical canal for two very important reasons. One, you can see that the horizontal canal becomes narrow. By placing a swab beyond this point, you can create discomfort and pain for your pet. The second reason, as you can see here in the diagram, the tympanic membrane also called the eardrum, lies at the end of the horizontal canal. We do not want to risk any injury to the eardrum during this process. Now let me demonstrate how to safely obtain an ear swab from your pet. Jack here fortunately does not have an active ear infection and his ear canal is open and comfortable. Should you lift up your dog's ear pinna or ear flap and see that the opening to your dog's ear is swollen shut or is very narrow, please stop. It is not appropriate for you to be taking a sample from your dog's ear if your dog's ear is in an inflamed and painful condition. However, should you lift up your dog's ear pinna or ear flap and see that the opening is large enough to accommodate a swab that you do not see any abnormal swelling although you may see quite a bit of discharge and your pet is comfortable you may proceed with obtaining a sample holding the ear pinna at the base and lifting it slightly upward again make sure your pet is comfortable with this process this is going to open up that vertical ear canal. You are now going to place the swab at the lowest portion of the ear opening and then tip it in an upward or vertical motion. The swab should be parallel to your pet's skull. Now, advancing the swab slowly and gently downward, you may rotate the swab gently left and right to obtain debris from your dog's ear canal. Remove the swab and inspect it. The more material that you can get to coat the foam tip applicator of the swab, the better your results will be in running the pseudomonas test. You may reapply the swab to obtain more material. However, do not advance the swab any further than the foam tip applicator portion. You do not want to risk injury to your dog's horizontal ear canal or tympanic membrane.
Here are some photographs of different swabs taken from pet's ear canals. As you can see, the material can be dark or light in color. Regardless, just ensure that the applicator portion of the swab is coated with material from your pet's ear. This will ensure the most accurate testing for your pet. Here we see some of the components of your kit. You will receive two swabs and two tubes. One tube is separate from its swab and the other will be sealed with its swab in plastic. Once you have utilized the swabs and obtained samples from your pet's ears, please put them in the appropriate tube. You will see that on each tube there's information for you to fill out. Your name, your pet's name, and the date you collected the samples. Please also designate whether the sample came from your pet's left or right ear. Once you've labeled the tubes, place them in your specimen bag and fill out your sample submission form. You will see that there is a number on the tubes and this is your test tracking number. Please notate this number on the appropriate line on your submission form. If you have any questions on filling out your submission form or anything else during this process, please don't hesitate to reach out to us here at QSM Diagnostics.